So we just left the house and we are leaving to go to Texas. It is 7.37 on Friday, November 4th. 4th and we have not even begun the journey yet. So um, we'll see you when we get there. So we just made it past the state line and we are stopping for a rest break. Whataburger, baby. And we'll see you when we get there. So we just made a pit stop at Westgo, just a random gas station in Abilene. And we had to get gas, so we stopped and now we're about to get back on the road. So we just arrived in San Angelo. We are going to go to our hotel and get checked in. Um, in like the last 15 minutes, we've probably seen 20 deer and one black buck antelope on the side of the highway, just on the side of the road, not even in high fence. So I'm really hoping that we can see one of those and maybe get one. So I'll check back with you guys once we get settled into the hotel and give you an update. So we just woke up and got ready. It is um, it's 4 11 in the morning. Um, We've got to go pick up a guy that we're hunting with, and then we're going to go to the lease. And um, also, I'm sorry I didn't get with you guys when we got all settled into the room. I forgot, but um, I will get back to you guys when we get either to the lease or in the stand. So, see you then. We just got in our blind in Fort McCabot. It's about quarter to seven, I think. Dark and foggy. We had a little bit of a challenge finding our blind. But we're here. And uh, the deer should be moving this morning. So hopefully in a couple hours we got some uh, video footage to show, so. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. We got a buck dog in the snow right out in front of our stand. I'm going to try to get some of it on video. So, we've been watching this seven point pretty much all morning, debating whether to shoot this deer because he's, he's a, pretty nice. He's a big deer. I, I'm still kind of on the fence, but it's first day, first morning, so we're really trying, really trying to be patient. But when the damn thing lays down in the feed pen to take a nap, it's a little frustrating. So, we just...
sat for about three? Three hours. Three hours. Um, we saw five does and four bucks. Two of them were decent, not wall hangers, but decent. But uh, we didn't see any that were really worth shooting, so we'll be back in the stand this evening and we'll get back with you then. So we just got back in. So, we, we didn't film today, because we went to a place different from the place we have been going, but we, we went to a place that you have to be stealthy. So, we were just thinking, so we were going to hunt pigs, and we, uh, they're, they got good hearing, so. We struck out. Yeah. Bad. Big whiff -a. So. We were desperate. I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully we have a better day. But, you know, that's why they call it hunting. Um, so, we'll see y'all. So, we just were driving on the road, on the lease, and we saw a herd of turkeys, and so I got my rifle and I shot this dude. Uh, From about 200 yards. Yeah, it was a, it was a long shot. Um, surprised I actually hit it, but uh, we're going to clean him up put him in the ice chest and then get ready for our evening hunt so hopefully we see something tonight um, it's hot yeah it is hot I don't know if they're gonna be moving too much but we're gonna see so I just got in the stand it's about well I don't know what time it is but look
Adele here a minute ago. She was in heat. She had her tail spread up. She had her tail sticking straight up and her legs were spread. So, uh, I don't even know where this rain came from because that thunderstorm moved that way. And there was nothing behind it. I guess something might have formed. But, uh, I don't have to be real quiet right now because it's not really quiet on my blind. And the deer will probably all bed it down. And I don't see any bedded down right over here. But that doesn't mean they're over. They're not over here. But uh Yeah, it's raining. It's really raining. I don't think we're going to see anything now, but it might surprise me. So guys, it's literally been like 30 seconds since I turned off the camera, but I just, my dad sent me a picture of a rainbow that he saw in his blind, and I started looking. I see it too. It's right there. I don't know if y'all can see it through the water spots. I might open this I hope y'all can see that, but yeah, nice little rainbow. Hopefully that's a good sign. Hopefully that means that some deer are about to show up. But they can't really show up when it's still raining. Alright, so we got quite a bit of footage on the way home that unfortunately you can't see because it was too dark. We saw several deer driving away from the lease, coming back to San Angelo. Good lightning show. Yeah, we missed all of that. So it was an interesting drive back. We got more rain, so the road was almost impassable in a few spots, but uh, we made it. So we're bringing some Texas caliche mud back to Oklahoma tomorrow. <clears throat> we didn't have a great afternoon. Clay shot that turkey, which was a good shot, a couple hundred yards, and he nailed it. So, saw several deer, a couple of good bucks when we were driving around the lease. And then uh, Clay saw a couple of does. I saw a couple of does when we were sitting in the stand. And I saw a couple of decent bucks walking back to the truck but couldn't get a, a decent shot at any of them. So we had a good trip. Uh, we're gonna head out here tomorrow and be back here on the 21st to uh, try it again. We both still got both of our buck tags and I think we've got two more trips planned so uh, we don't have to be as conservative next time so we can, we can kinda harvest some uh, some deer so we'll uh, we'll get some footage tomorrow on the way home and maybe some some video of the uh, our caliche covered truck and it's pretty bad and, and maybe some school uh, I doubt you guys want to see that but uh, I don't want to do it either so yeah, that's gonna be riveting yeah so we just woke up, got the truck all loaded, we're gonna eat some breakfast, then we're gonna get on the road. But first, like, if you guys know my dad, he doesn't like his truck to be dirty. But look at this. I mean, this, that's amazing. You can't, it's like, wow. See, that's what Texas will do to a dude. I mean, like, he hates his truck to be dirty. And it's covered in caliche. So this is different for him. So, like I said, we're going to eat some breakfast and 
get on the road, and then we'll see you when we do. So, we just got home and good and settled in. Ruby is really excited that I'm home. And, um, we really did have a good time. It, uh, we were ready to come home, though. And, um, I'm really appreciated that you guys watched. But, this is the time that kinda isn't fun about the video, the ending. So, um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you next time on next episode of Dameron Outdoor Adventures.